What's going on guys? Army Fire Dog is back again. How have you all been? I hope you all have had a wonderful Christmas season, a wonderful New Year, and here pretty much soon having a good Valentine's Day coming up. But today I finally have, after well over a month with this unit, I finally decided I need to go ahead and sadly make my review of an IEM that has truly just, for what it charges, for the performance it gives you, one of the most impressive universal inner monitors I have ever heard to date. I'm kind of spoiling the rest of this review, but gosh darn, I was impressed with this thing. That's kind of why I was wanting to put off doing this review. Uh, being transparent is whenever I get it finished, it's pretty much time to go ahead and send it back. Um, but I'm, of course, talking about no other than KN's first uh, inner monitor, and it is their YB04. This is their, like I said, first designed universal in your monitor, and it has four balanced armature drivers, hence 04. Everything they could have done, in my personal opinion, with this IEM, they have done. Uh, craftsmanship, and I'm jumping all over, and I'll get, I'll get back in line, but I just really got to sing the praise of this IEM. But from craftsmanship to art style to comfort, KN just absolutely slammed an incredible phenomenal product into this for only charging give or take five hundred dollars as of right now i just checked it's for four hundred dollars off of music tech anywho as i always do with my reviews let me start with the construction of the kn04 yb04 and i'll work my way down from there so the construction of the yb04 as you can see is a very aggressive looking design it's the concha style so it fits right inside the ear of your concha very very smoothly and it uses a detachable, thank you, two pin cable. It's a very universal cable that if you would want to upgrade to a different cable, you absolutely can. However, the stock default cable that comes with the YB04 is about as good as just about any other aftermarket cable I have tried. It is a copper and silver mesh cable and it is not a cheap filling or looking cable. I mean, this thing is absolutely gorgeous, as you can see from the pictures right in front of you. The ear tip is what you'd expect. It's the most universal size. I, again, I say with all my reviews, I don't know the exact measurements of what that is. It's just when I look at, uh, when I use my comply tips, it's the size four. It fits majority, the vast majority of the inner monitors I use, whether it be these, whether it be some Sony's I listen to that my wife just got, or whatever have you be. It seems like this size of a horn is universal and it goes on just about anything. Now, from the exterior, and I'm kind of digging into the comfort, but you'll see it's all the same. When you turn it around, it's actually a very smooth uh, transition, and it's all a very smooth frame on the interior. Only the exterior is that aggressive styling and it's only from appearance. This IM, from my personal experience of having, I truly just stopped keeping count. I have listened to this thing fairly consistently over my last month and not once of my several three, four, five, I think I've had one or two six hour plus listening sessions without stop and has my ears ever became uncomfortable. I was able to listen to this for the absolute long haul and I, I, I never had to adjust but I'll save that for the next section. Now continuing moving down, the cable as I just said is a copper silver mesh and it is the braided style so you can actually see the eight wire intermingled into each other. That is not a cheap cable and the stock that comes with it is terminated in a 3.5 millimeter. Now to my knowledge you cannot buy a KN cable with a different termination that I know of off the top of my head but as I said, this is just a universal two pin, so you can very easily use your own. Uh, if you have a favorite type of cable, you can very easily use that. So final thoughts on the construction, I, I got nothing. This thing is truly, I am truly phenomenal. Yes, in my one month with it, I have unfortunately dropped it from my ear all the way down to the ground. And as you can see from the pictures, I'm doing this as I'm doing a review, there is no scratches or no nothing on it, of course. I do not uh, recommend or condone you trying to that experiment yourself. I very well could have just been lucky, but just the material that these are made out of, the feel, the craftsmanship that you just, you, when you feel these in your hand, you just know you have a very well-built and pride-built uh, 
Adi I am. Now, moving down to the comfort. As I said earlier, I have listened to this for several hours on end and different time frames. Rather, guys, if I'm uh, waking up, just trying to get um, ready to go to work in the morning, and I don't want to wake my wife, listen to music, or whatever have you be, I listen to these a lot over my month, about a month and a half with them, maybe a little bit longer than that. And as I said, never a instance of discomfort. I never had to adjust them. I never had to uh, push them back in my ear. They stayed put. Now, with that being said of them staying put in my ears, you can actually work out in these. And I myself have had a very light workout. Nothing uh, super strenuous because I do sweat quite a bit when I am uh, in a full workout. But like push-ups, sit-ups, squats, your general strength training workout. You're not going super hard. These can actually be worked out in, even from the website themselves. They say that these are an all-around companion, and they even use someone working out as their picture. So to add more, not only do you get the audio file sound, you get the universal comfort. You can freaking work out in these. Very rarely do you ever have an uh, inner monitor of the audio file segment that can be worked out in. And they openly say, work out in them. So... That is awesome. And again, with that, now I also do use the Comply Memory Foam tips. They do come with a very impressive supply of different tips with these. A very impressive supply. I, as I said at the beginning of my unboxing, did not use any of those simply because I keep whatever the package is as original. So future reviewers for this have the same unboxing and it's not a dirty earphones or they are not as fortunate as I am to be able to buy some Comply Memory Foam tips. They're not cheap, but I, as you all know, I swear by them things. Anywho, the comfort is just phenomenal. The, they have a good weight to them, but when they're in your ears, they absolutely just disappear. So, two for two, I have no complaints. Like, KN has just done a beautifully fantastic job in their design of their first ever IEM. Now, moving down to what you all probably carry the absolute most for, and I don't blame you, and that is how do the KNYB04 sound? How is the sound quality of these beautiful works of art? And as tacky as it sounds, I couldn't come up with a better phrase as or other than if a hot knife slicing through butter had a sound, this is what it would be. Because when you listen to these, they are just a very musical and a very just soft and calming and relaxing sound. Nowhere in the frequency band, regardless if that's what you like or not, or what you're kind of look for, nothing is sharp, whether on the high side or the low side. It's all a very smooth transition across the frequency band. It's all just a soft, uh, just a relaxing experience. Now, again, they may, that may not be for everyone. Someone might want that mm, when you hit that rock or that uh, resonance or that ringing when a violin strings the high notes. That may be what you want, but these are very just... When you want... You just want to enjoy music. You just want to, after a long day of work or you're just getting around, you, don't, you just want to listen, not... How to describe it? You don't want to jar yourself. You just want to just sit back and relax, kind of sit back in your recliner and just unwind. That is about the best way I can describe the overall sound of the YB04. Now, with that, if you're listening to a live piece or well-recorded piece, the imaging in the YB04 beats out a lot of $1,000 plus earphones. A lot of them. And this is only costing roughly $500. Like I said, at the time of the recording of this video, Music Tech has it for $400. That is phenomenal. I, Off the top of my head, I cannot think of another IEM in this price bracket that performs as well as this. Just what they've done for just as respectably inexpensive as they have are charging, I really cannot give kudos enough. As for the individual characteristics of the sound, as I mentioned earlier, the treble, it does extend very, very nicely. It does have that energy and that drive and that air that you are likely looking for. Just it doesn't specialize in that. So what I mean is um, the song I used in my review was Sinbone Zakara by Lindsey Sterling. 
Very energetic piece, very detailed, and great for imaging if you just close your eyes and listen to it. Just a beautiful song overall. However, through the YB04s, they you can definitely tell that the violin has a lot more extension than what the YB04 puts out. They can extend much further. Uh, the resonance, um, and I'll use a cymbal. Uh, like if you like if you hit a cymbal, you get that initial um, ting that's sharp, and then you kind of has that soft resonance with the YB04. You do get the ting. It doesn't kind of startle you. You hear it, but the resonance is a much softer fade. So I get a way of is the treble on these is definitely rolled off. It rolls off fairly early on when listening to it, but it doesn't drop. It's a very soft roll, very similar to my beloved Oppo PM ones in that treble regard. Now moving on to the mids. The mids is what I personally care the absolute most about. So the mids. I, are just an overall, just a very full sound, and they're almost, I don't even know if there's a way to describe it, so bear with me. <laughs> For those of you who watch my videos, you know I can't really describe things by textbook, but there's, they're almost creamy sounding, the mids on the YB04. As they're just so much full bodied, and they're so smooth, but it's not, I, I, I'm, 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 you're seeing a lot of time skips here in the video, in the editing, where I'm trying to think of a way to describe the mids for you. It's like, Yes, it has that full body, so you get that fleshy, that sound. Also, when you have that fleshiness sound, you have that very much so in here, but it's it, it's, it's dense. It's, um, yeah. it's just on the empty sounding mids. It really sounds like whoever is singing to you is physically in your face singing to you. Um, not quite claustrophobic, like directly you know, here, but you get the sense that it's a very personal, it's, um, they're, oh, they're really, it's a personal concert, a performance for you, and only you, and I'll, I'll, a good example of this is listening to John Moreland, he's an artist I just recently discovered, absolutely amazing artist, I definitely recommend you listen to him, but very nice, and he has a lot of emotion in his piece, um, and you, you, you really get that he is singing to you. It's just a very personal, and you just, you, you get all of that when you listening to it. And it's consistent regardless of what you're listening to, whether it be Mr. John Moreland or um, a song I use a lot. I'm sure you all are tired of hearing about it, but Glassy Sky, Donna Burke, a female vocalist, equally just amazing to listen to. Uh, all of which I've linked into my uh, written review, which is linked in the description. Um, but I highly encourage you to listen to those. And if you have the opportunity to listen to on the YB04, I'm almost confident you'll be like, oh, I know what he's talking about now. That's I know what they, that creaminess he's trying to describe. And I, I don't know if that's a technical textbook or audio file terminology. It's just the only way I can portray the mids to you. They are daggum good for what I listen to. I cannot compliment and speak highly enough of the mids but moving on i gotta go gotta finish this review for you all to finish up you have the bass so continuing on like i said in the treble a lot of you are, are wanting the audio files they want on the bass they want it hit hard they want that impactful they want to feel physically feel those sub bass um, notes when it hits with the yb04 you're not going to get that you don't even come more close on the sub bass in fact However, it is still a very full, or very impactful, just not physically impactful bass. You have every bit of that speed and control and attack you'd want on that bass slam. It just, it's a much, it doesn't go deep, however. It stays with what I said at the main beginning, that very soft um, curvature. Everything is a very smooth and relaxing, even when I'm listening to... Um, Oh, it's Fertility of the Sea, when they are absolutely just slamming on those drums in the performance. With these, yes, you get that slam, and you get that impactfulness, and you get that resonance of those bass drums, and this, uh, I don't know the technical name for the rest of the drums, but you get that, you hear that from here, however you don't get that sub-bass um, oomph to be was more of a techno or trap or whatever genre of music it is. Um, 
Repeat After Me by Arwen Von Buren. Very techno song. I listen to that quite a bit. But the song is designed to go low and to get that oomph. Now, I will say in that situation, when you are directly wanting that that slam or you're wanting that, um, I don't want to say piercing because it's not a good word, but uh, high-peaking treble, the YB04 may not be for you when you are wanting that. For listening to like that techno, that uh, repeat after me, as I mentioned, it's great to listen to, and you get all that speed and attack. But you don't get that the reason you want to listen to techno music. You don't get that slam, that oomph, that is enjoyable. That's not what the YB 04s are for. To conclude my thoughts, so the YB 04 is about the epitome of what I personally look for in a universal in ear monitor. It is built gorgeously well. It is stunning to look at. It has a great weight to it. it. The cord is not cheap or flimsy. Like I have no desire to upgrade this cable. It, it's a detachable cable. It is comfortable to listen to your ear for a long period of time. And it, it sound is just something that when I listen to music, the vast majority of the time, I'm talking about high high 70s, low 80% of the time I listen to music, it's just, I just want to lean back, and I just want to enjoy, I want to experience what the artist has put their heart and their soul into portraying to me, the listener. Yes, you know, sometimes I want that hard bass, or sometimes I want to get that extra violin slam, violin slam, excuse me, that violin peak. But there's other products that specialize only in this end or that end over there. Or it's a V-shape and I have those hollow mids. That high majority of the time when I just want to enjoy and relax, just unwind after a long day at work or a stressful call or something, I just put these on and just enjoy. That, that this The YB-04s are one of the most smoothest sounding earphone I have ever heard. And for what it's worth coming from me, I really could not uh, or cannot uh, recommend it or give more accolades to it. It is such a phenomenal, and with respect to its performance, um, uh, affordable inner monitor. But, my friends, that is actually it for my review of Can's introductory inner monitor, their YB04. If you have any questions or if there's anything I may have missed that you would like me to clarify or go over a little bit more, please hit me up in the comments down below. I absolutely love and enjoy reading and replying and talking with each and every one of you whoever graces me with the time to actually send a comment. But my friends, as always, my name is Army Fire Dog. It has truly, truly been a pleasure and most importantly, and please I ask of you all, stay safe.